The best moment of my life was my 13th birthday party. Me and my friends were at a diner, dancing along to whatever song of the summer was playing. I danced and shouted the lyrics, unashamed by the people staring, people probably judging. There's something special about being a child, completely unaffected by others' opinions. The biggest side effect of me growing up was losing that. Now, I look around and I notice it. No one even flinches at me walking through the doors. Does anyone know I'm here? The dread, the anxiety, the warmth rushing to my cheeks, and my fingers start to feel a bit numb. So I stand in the corner. I hope someone will walk by, someone will introduce themselves. Meanwhile, the anxiety stays in the pit of my stomach. I was afraid of starting a conversation with anyone. What if I messed up? What if I said the wrong thing? What if I didn't know what to say? As I tried to figure out how to change this, I had a thought. Maybe the key to visibility isn't in how others see us, but rather in how we see ourselves. And so I began by asking myself three pivotal questions, not just for introspection, but for action. Question number one, where am I? Question number two, where do I want to be? Question number three, how do I get there? One, I felt invisible and unable to engage in conversation. I was used to being a passive communicator. I could respond, but I didn't really know how to start or sustain a conversation. Two, how do I get there? Where do I want to be? <laughs> That's easy. I wanted to be a master communicator. I wanted to be able to go to a networking event and talk to anyone I wanted. And I didn't just want to be heard. I wanted to influence, to inspire. The most transformative question, three. How do I get there? This is where the real change begins. For me, it involved learning to assert my presence. I focused on how I could bring value to every conversation. I began to engage more deeply with people, uh, active listening and responding thoughtfully. I learned that to be seen, you must first see yourself clearly. That means recognizing your worth, your capabilities, and also your areas for growth. So I started recording these conversations for a podcast. I thought if I could have 100 conversations with successful business owners, I could bring myself to have stronger skills, connecting with them on a professional but also personal level. Repetition gives us experience on how to handle various topics, questions, answers, because we can hear them so many times by different people, we'll know what to say next. It becomes less about them just talking and more about listening, engaging, and knowing how to steer the conversation in the direction that you want. Through this process, you learn to engage actively. The Ebbinghaus Forgetting Curve illustrates that without repetition, we tend to forget up to 50% of newly learned information within the first hour, and up to 70% within 24 hours. However, using spaced repetition techniques can significantly mitigate this memory loss. So let's start by defining what you want to achieve with each conversation. Do you want to improve your listening skills? Are you aiming to learn how to ask better questions? Or maybe you want to build rapport quickly. Having clear goals will give you focused direction and purpose for each interaction. Next, create a consistent schedule. Plan to have one conversation per day for the next 100 days. Consistency is crucial when creating and reinforcing new conversation skills. Make sure to diversify your conversation partners. Engage with a variety of people, including friends, family, colleagues, and even strangers. This diversity will expose you to different communication styles and perspectives, enriching your learning experience. Prepare topics in advance to ensure each conversation is meaningful and engaging. 
Having a list of topics ready helps keep the dialogue lively and prevents it from becoming repetitive or stale. Practice active listening. Reflect back on what the other person says and ask follow-up questions. This deepens your discussion and shows that you value their input. If possible, record your conversations with permission and review them later. Focus on things such as your speaking pattern, tone, and areas for improvement. This self-review is a powerful tool for personal growth. When young adults have intentional conversations, we are able to transform our communication skills and therefore have stronger relationships. So, the first step, grab your calendar, and I want you to have 100 intentional conversations in the next 100 days. When we are able to have conversations with anyone we want and feel great about it, we can change the world.